what's going on guys it's your boy Spiderman here and today guys I am here with another video and first off I know we keep on looking over here my bad um first off I just want to say I know I didn't upload a video today I've actually been busy plus I had homework and I was chilling with Chrissy and all that but I'm here to film my Star Wars collection because a lot of you guys have been asking Spud you're buying all the stuff I need to see your collection you know for people who haven't seen my other toy hunts, like I have figures that I've never filmed before I am ready to film it and get you guys to show you guys my collection. Now, my collection is a little low, but I still have a lot of figures. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy. So, let's go. Okay, guys. So, here is my first prize possession. Now, yeah, guys, I'm using the, um, the selfie stick because uh, my desk ends here and all that. But here it is. It's Star Wars Episode 1. It's the Calm Chip figures. But here's Darth Maul from Episode 1, which is really awesome. I got him at a toy shop. For only $9.99. That's not bad. Um, this one is not as expensive as the other one who has the hood over him and all that. But as you see, I'm probably going to keep it in the package. I'll get a second one to open to go with the three in the quarter inch. Here's the back. As you can see, it says Star Wars Episode 1, and it just talks about it. It talks about the comic chip, and it shows the rest of the figures in the wave, as you can see. These are all from, there's Darth Maul, Anakin Skywalker, Padme, Jar Jar Banks, Obi-Wan, Jin, and you got the Battle Droid, and you got the Queen. Now heading on, I'm going to hit to the 6-inch Black Series, so that was my prize position. Now here is the 6-inch Black Series Han Solo. This one is really awesome. I love this one. I got him at a Kmart, I believe. Now, I love this Han Solo. He's just one of my favorites of the 6-inch Black Series wave. Love him. He's got, I put on the, that belt instead of the one that came with the uh, Stormtroopers. Obi-Wan Kenobi, one of my favorites also. I love all the Black Series. They're really, like, the best. But I love this one a lot because it has the cloth and the plastic mixed in, so that's, like, really good. It reminds me of the Luke Skywalker, so that's really nice. I like how they did it, so... This is one of my favorites. I really like it. It's definitely a must-have in your guys' collection as well. And here is Princess Leia looking awesome. This figure is literally awesome. I really want to get a job with the Hut just to put whatever from that scene. It was just literally, it was literally awesome when she went in there and got Han Solo. You know, like this is literally one of the best figures just straight from the movie scene. Just like really just like resonated with me and got like all in my head. So that scene really did. And here we have a plain normal stormtrooper. Just kidding, guys. I it's not only just a stormtrooper, it is Luke Skywalker. Wow. Yes, guys, I got the Luke Skywalker. And boom. This one is literally awesome in Stormtrooper disguise. Next one I want to pick up is the Han Solo one when he's in the uniform. You know, so if you guys know a good place to find it, let me know. I've been trying to find it. You know, I've been doing research. I like Bonds and Nobles and all that, but I don't know if I can find this one. Um, I believe my parents got this one for me for my birthday at Kmart or Walgreens. I'm pretty sure Kmart because Kmart is where a lot of these are. So if you guys have any clue or any idea where that Han Solo is, please let me know in the comments down below. It would mean the world to me. Next up right here, we got the one and only the Emperor. Definitely one of my favorites. As you can see this pose, I have a lot of them right there. You know, but just, wow, just look at this figure, guys. I'm using the Tri. I'm not even going to use, like, really anything. Just... I'll cover this. Let's get this face sculpt. Guys, the face sculpt on this is literally the best. I recommend it. Just like if you really want to just buy like a loot for like 30 bucks and try to get him. Like this is definitely a must have. Especially when you need a Darth Vader. Like right now I'm actually going to be getting that Darth Vader either in the Legendary Pack. Or just by himself in the 40th Anniversary style packaging. Or just the new Black Series that they put in, you know, of the 40th Anniversary. So either way. I'm going to be getting a Darth Vader pretty soon. Now, here we have a Red Captain clone. Guys, this clone is definitely one of my favorites. You know, this one is awesome. I hate how the paint rub came off in the packaging when I first got him. That was really depressing because I got it for my birthday. But look how awesome. He comes with the two blasters. He comes with this blaster. And look at this long arrival, guys. This one was literally the best. And guys, if it's a little shaky, I do apologize. I don't have a good tripod yet. But, um, don't worry, guys. I don't usually do all this. Just look how amazing this is. Last but not least, I got the Imperial AT ACT driver. As you can see, guys, I just got him in my recent toy hunt. So, if you guys do want to check it, the little bell is going to be right over here. So, click that, and you guys should be able to see it. But here he is. This is definitely actually, literally, I think my favorite Stormtrooper out of all the ones I have. And I only have two. So, just a lot of detail, a lot of everything. If you guys do want a review on this figure, let me know. Click the poll right here. Yes or no. Because I'll save the packaging for until Wednesday. And then I'll chuck it maybe. But I'll actually show you guys the back of the box as well. Just because. Here you go. I'll let you guys uh, 
read that. Okay. And if you guys did not know, this is a Target exclusive. As you can see, there is no number there where it says Imperial ATACT Driver. So, yeah. Miscellaneous Star Wars merch I got is from the Force Awakens series boxes. So, here's these. Alright guys, so here is my 375 inch collection. I know they're facing different ways. I'll fix them. But, I just want to show you guys this awesome diorama. Here's the probe, as you can see from my other ones. There's the Millennium Falcon Hot Wheels. We got old Luke, C-3PO, Rey Jedi Training, Chewbacca, Han Solo, General Husk, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, Bird, Stormtrooper, and a Boba Fett. Yeah. And guys, these two, Kylo Ren and Darth Vader, I actually switched the capes because, first off, that Darth Vader, that cape that Darth Vader was wearing was way too big for Kylo's run body, and that cape was way too small for Darth Vader's body, so, yeah. Okay, so here we got the probe, and here we got the Millennium Falcon, we got Chewbacca, we got the Porg, hashtag Porg, we got Han Solo, Rey, Jedi training, we got one of these little guys, Old Luke, look at that face, Old Luke, C-3PO, let me show you guys all the faces, Han Solo's, Chewbacca, alright, so here we got General Husk, unmasked, we got the Praetorian Guard, we got Kylo Ren, as you can see I put on Kylo Ren's old one, it doesn't really fit him too much, it fits more well with the Darth Vader, as you see, it, this one also fits well, but it's not as good. Here we, oh, guys, look at this face sculpt. Oh, here is the Stormtrooper, but he has a mark. Mine came out a mark. Uh, here we got the Darth Vader that came with the probe. Nice. Nice. I love this Darth Vader. And here we got Boba Fett, which came with the Han Solo 2-pack. Oh, yeah, guys, the Ray and the Praetorian Guard came together. Darth Vader and the probe. Force Friday, this was, uh, this one and Han Solo 2-pack was the one I wanted so bad, so, yeah. Next up, I got Star Wars The Last Jedi Resistance BB Unit only at Walmart. It's a Walmart exclusive. Number 211, Funko Pop. Man, this one's literally awesome. I love this one, and I'm still trying to find that Chase Pork. So if you guys have any clues or any ideas where like, I can make sure I find them, like, hands down, let me know, and it would mean a lot. Uh, also, I got the Star Wars Last Jedi The First Order Executioner Stormtrooper 201 Funko Pop. Same exact thing in the back. These things are literally the best, which if you guys have not seen my toy hunt, it's actually on Force Friday. Force Friday Part 2, I'll leave a link right over here. And you guys can go watch when I found these two, because it was actually really awesome. If you guys are confused, these Funko Pops I actually got at Force Friday PM, uh, basically at nighttime after the midnight opening at PM. And the 375 inch, the three and a quarter inch basically that you just saw before, I actually waited online for it until 12 a.m. just to get the three and a quarter inch so if you guys do want to see that click the little bell here it's Force Friday part one Force Friday part two and my latest toy hunt where I got that awesome AT driver the next thing I got is the Star Wars weapon of the Jedi Luke Skywalker which, adventure which I actually got last year but I read I was reading this as I was waiting online for Force Friday so like I said if you guys have not seen it make sure you click right up here and you guys will see it Thank you guys all for watching it obviously means a lot um just want to say even though if i don't have a lot of star wars i actually you can really just if you want to you can subscribe and join the spidey nation and basically what we're going to be doing is doing a lot of toy hunts so you can see my uh, collection grow so i just want to make this video just to basically show you guys my collection where i'm at and that we're going to be growing our collection together so just want to say thank you guys all for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace